the stock market is going up, down, up, down. Right now, it is down. I think we're at 200 points. Uh, I'm sorry, 20,000 points in the Dow Jones. So, I figure right now is a great time to add some stocks to my M1 Finance portfolio. So today I'm gonna go over four stocks that I will be adding in my M1 Finance portfolio. Let's check it out. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Michael Romero. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm a small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things and maximize what we have going on in this world today um, when it comes to uh, finances. So as you all know, the market has been tanking over the past, I don't know, three weeks. We're down, we was to around what, 27,000 points on the Dow Jones. Now we're down to around 20,000 points. Today is Tuesday, March 17th, but I will be releasing this video on Thursday night, Friday morning. So um, maybe we'll be a little bit further up by then, maybe we'll be further down. But um, I haven't added any stocks to my, um, in my finance portfolio in quite a while. And I figure right now is a good time to add a few shares, or well, a few positions that I've been looking at and that I feel will make a great um, addition to what I have going on with this portfolio already. Uh, again, this is a dividend slash growth portfolio. So not every stock is a dividend stock and not every stock is strictly just for growth. I come kind of mixing it up and see how I can maximize my returns with this here uh, portfolio. But of course we are down, down quite a bit on this portfolio. But um, out of the four stocks that we'll be adding in my portfolio, three of them are dividend stocks. One of them is not, one of them dropped like 60% over the past, or 50% over the past, uh, couple weeks and we'll see that in a bit but look um, before we get into it why don't you go ahead and destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm and for the great deals we have on some stocks actually I honestly think that stocks are companies are getting around their right evaluation because um, I do feel like many things were over uh, extended or overbought what do you say uh, overpriced in general in the stock market we've been doing so good for so long but i do believe that over the next six six months to a year we'll kind of level out so i'm going to try to add as much money into the stock market as i can um while it is slowly slipping away <laughs> into the abyss but it's not that simple um it can be but i do have a little strategy that i'm working out and i'll probably make a video on that later but look, let's go ahead and hop into the phone so we can check out the portfolio, the M1 Finance uh, portfolio. Okay, boom, let's see. So, <laughs> all together, um, we are down 47.74%, which is $220.16. And one of the reasons why we're down this much is because I do have some speculative stocks in here like I said, this is really me trying to grow this as fast and as quickly as possible. Today, we're up 1.67%. On the week, we're down 22%, which is 180 bucks. On the month, we're down 36.9%, which is $343.86. On the quarter, we're down 36.64%, 36 which is uh, $238.13. And of course on a year we're down and on all time we are down as well uh but as you can see this slope we have going on here um all my net cash flow is 883 dollars and 71 cents and i'm down 229 dollars and 79 cents my earned dividends are six dollars and 22 cents hopefully with um me adding a few more dividend stocks we will see really what uh a little bit more growth from dividends on here. And again, M1 Finance automatically reinvests the dividends once you hit a certain amount. But let's go ahead and see the positions I have in here already, and then we will add to these positions. Not these positions, but... So, all time, Amazon, we are down 6%, uh, which is four bucks. 
Do I have anything green here all the time? Tesla, I'm up six bucks. And that is it. Apple, I'm down 20%. Um, Activision, I'm down 12%. Alphabet, I'm down 31%. Realty Income, I'm down 48%. And Seagull, I'm down 45%. Tesla is the only stock I'm up for the all time. VU, I'm down 31%. Wynn Resorts, I'm down 79%. Uh, Lamar Advertising, I'm down 58%. And SPXL, I'm down 84.39%. Wow. My portfolio is getting blasted right now. But it's okay. I have a feeling that most people's is getting torn apart. That's why I'm not too worried. Position we are going to add to my portfolio. IBM International Business Machines Corporation. And they are about $98.91 a share with a market cap of 88 billion, PE ratio of 10.20, 10.20, and a dividend yield of 6.54%, which is $6.48. Let's see the port, the profile of this bad boy. International Business Machine Corp looks to be a part of every aspect of an enterprise's IT needs. The company primarily sells infrastructure services, 37% of its revenue, software, 29% of its revenue, IT services, 23% of its revenue, and hardware, 8% of its revenue. IBM is in 100, operates in 175 countries and employs approximately 350,000 people. So yada, yada, yada. Um, of course, this is a tech stock and it is um, quite old. But I feel like it's gonna be a sweet, a good part of my uh, my portfolio. As you can see here, over the past year, it's down 29.33% uh, because of what's going on. Over the past three years, it's down 17%, and over the past five years, it's down 8.78% because of what's going on. So we do have growth potential here for this stock, especially since we're moving to more a cloud-based and tech-based world. So let's go ahead and add this to our pie. Next, we have. Microsoft. Now, Microsoft has a market cap of one trillion, and today we're up uh, one dollar and sixty-seven cents. Let's look at our price history. So we're up um, fifteen percent over the past year, but we are still down to what it was. Uh, PE ratio of twenty-seven point seventy percent, um, which is it's not that great, but it's not that bad either. Dividend of two dollars and four cents a year which is 1.51 1 percent so microsoft develops and licenses consumer and enterprise software it is known for its windows operating systems and office productivity suite the company is organized in three <laughs> in three overarching segments productivity and business segments legacy um, microsoft office cloud-based office 360 exchange sharepoint skype LinkedIn, Dynamics, Intelligence, Cloud. So, if you don't know what Microsoft is, you've been living underneath the rock. They have all of this. They have cloud-based services. They have physical tech-based stuff. Um, computers, software, Xbox, and just all types of different things. Xbox Live, they own that. Microsoft Points, stuff like that. Um, so. I've been wanting to add more tech stocks to this because like I said, we are going to a tech based future and over the next few years, I'm excited to see what the tech sector will bring. So I'm gonna, we're gonna add this one to the pie as well. So next we have Mass Tech Network Solutions. So this is not a dividend stock. This is a um, infrastructure stock. It's, they do infrastructure, they do windmills, they do um, telecommunications, they do oil, gas, all that. Price history, we're up 6% over the past five years, down 11% over the past three years, and down 42% over the past um, <clears throat> one year. Mass Tech Inc. is a leading infrastructure corporation, well, construction company operating primarily through North America. Its principal activities include engineering, building, installation, maintenance, and upgrades of communications, energy, and utility infrastructure. This company installs wireless, wireline, wireless, wireline, and satellite communications, oil and gas pipeline infrastructure, 
conventional and renewable power generation and other um, industrial systems. MassTech has five operating segments, communications, oil and gas, electrical transmission, power generation, power generation and industrial and other. This is just a great stock to get into. It was um, around like close to 74, 75 bucks, like two or three months ago, around the turn of the uh, year. And then it dropped because of what's been going on. And I do know for a fact that this is gonna jump back up because this is a great company. Um, they are constantly moving forward. They have big contracts with AT&T, Verizon, and several other um, different types of communications and we all know how big communications is um, in this day and age and in the future with 5G rolling out and everything maybe not so big on oil and gas because of what's going on I don't know how that's gonna play out but we will see all I know is I know this bad boy is gonna come up and a final one and I might get a little slack for it but Exxon Mobil <laughs> I've been wanting to get into oil and gas for a while and I figured now is a good time to do it since everything is low um, so we will see how this is going to turn out. Market cap of 146 billion, PE ratio of 11.30, and a dividend yield of 10.09%, which is three dollars and 48 cents uh, per year. Of course, we all know what's going on with the gas prices right now with uh, OPEC and and Saudi Arabia and Russia right now, which is driving the price of oil down, which is initially causing a lot of complications for oil companies, gas companies, things like that. Um, but it's nothing that we, uh, that the oil and gas industry hasn't bounced for, back from before. And I do know with the presidential election, we have uh, Biden and other people running saying that if they win, they will stop drilling and all that. But for the next five to 10 years, we're not gonna turn away from oil and gas. We just are too dependent on it. Even with Tesla, um, well, I'm sorry, Elon Musk doing his whole thing with the batteries, which I think is fantastic. I think it's great. I just don't think right now we can switch over without having major complications. So that's why I'm trying to get into oil and gas when it's dropped like this. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to the pod. So back up, done. Now we're gonna cut this down to eight cut this down to eight and we're just going to see how much we can put and see if we can get these up to around five percent and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this I'm going to confirm and one thing I do need to do is no not deposit I need to turn on automatic invest so this morning I will be buying I will be using hundred thirty six dollars and twenty four cents to buy into um, all of these that I have so far. Let's take a look at it now. We have, I think, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, 14, 15. 15 st shares in a company. Um, I'm sorry, 15 different companies we're in so far. And what I'm gonna do is, um, at the end of the month, I'm gonna restructure this. I'm going to um, rebalance this portfolio, this profile, because as you can see, we are definitely overbought in some and not just because I kind of restructured it with the percentile but um it was kind of thrown off before anyway but um that's kind of what I have going on with this portfolio I definitely have high hopes for this portfolio um and everything I just bought into I do believe that they will be coming back up there are other reasons why I bought them I can go into them in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions why I bought what I bought today and my reasoning behind it. And I will answer them as easily and fast and as more in depth as I can in the comments below. But guys, as you see, my portfolio is down majorly. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna continue to add money every week into this bad boy. And I'm excited for my new positions for them to start working for me. Um, anyway, guys, if you, found value out of this video go ahead and smash that like button for the youtube algorithm and if you're still watching this video and you haven't and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that red subscribe button turning it gray and becoming a this little family we have going on today this little family we have growing and guys look if you want to start um your own investing journey there's a couple links in the description 
that you can sign up to. If you use them, you will get benefits. For, for instance, M1 Finance, if you sign up and fund your account, you'll get 10 free dollars and I'll get 10 free dollars just for you signing up and funding your account. Also, if you sign up using Robinhood, all you have to do is sign up, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. You don't have to deposit any money and you can play with it there. Also, Webull is another great one and I will be doing a few videos on Webull in the future. Uh, Webull, if you sign up using the link in the description, you will get a free stock and if you <laughs> deposit a minimum of $100, you also get a free stock. I actually think they're running a promotion right now where if you deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks. So that'll be three free stocks for you all together. And I'll get one just for you guys signing up. And once you guys deposit money, I will also get another free stock. So I'll get two and you'll get three. So think about it. Start in one of these if you guys are ready to start investing in some of the best times that we can because of all these cheap stock prices um these great deals we got going on but anyway guys look i'm gonna get out of here if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me all you have to do is click one of these videos another thing look in the description for this i'm gonna leave a link for my uh dividend tracking spreadsheet just for robin hood i'm trying to figure out one for m1 finance i might just leave my profile for m1 finance in the description, I don't know, check in there and see if you want to see. Click the link. You'll be able to see this here for free. But all right, guys, look, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.